All right, let's talk about Dune's API. So Dune's API uh, starts with queries, right? So every single query that you see on Dune, for example, this Solana validators query, um, can be used as an API endpoint. Uh, you just query the query ID directly itself, and you can paginate over results uh, in JSON or CSV form, uh, however you wish, right? This works for every single query ID on Dune. Obviously, if it's private, then only that creator can access it through the API. And to learn more about our API, uh, you should really check out our documentation. It's going to cover everything from how we store results, how execution IDs are managed, um, how credits are managed, rate limits, uh, query parameters, all of that. It can get it can get complex pretty quickly. So the main thing that I want to cover first is actually on the billing side, since this does confuse people. You're paying for the execution and then you're paying for the data points, right? So in this case, if I ran this query on the Medium engine, that's gonna cost me 10 credits to run. Um, it doesn't matter if I ran it in app or in API, those results are connected. Um, and then if I pull the data, this is, I don't know, five, it's probably like 15, row, uh, 15 columns. Uh, with this many rows. So if I multiply by 15, that's 68,000 or 69,000 uh, data points, right? So how much would that cost me on the free plan? Well, it's one credit per, uh, it's one credit per 1,000 data points on the free plan. So it would cost me 70 credits. Uh, now keep in mind, everyone gets 2,500 credits for free. Um, you can buy more if you want. And that means that, you know, I could query this and pull this uh, about, let's say, divided by 1,068. And so we have 2,500 credits on the free plan. So you could query it about 36 times on free. And then if you go up to premium, it's now 5,000 per credit. So you get 25,000 credits, All right? So now I make it divided by 5,000. I add a zero here means I could call it 1,817 times, and then premium, 25,000 data points per credit, 100,000 credits. Um, that means that I can make this a two, and I can change this to 100, so that I could call this query 36,000 times. Right? So you can see the pricing of how much you can pull something does scale uh, with the plans. It's not just you getting more credits, it's you getting more data points per credit. Um, and if you ever want to check on your billing and usage, you can go to your setting on Dune uh, and you can go to subscription and you'll be able to see your usage and you can ex export your usage to see the actual like API executions or API uh, data point costs that's costing you. Uh, and settings is also where you're going to be able to open uh, new API keys. Obviously, we have a lot over here but you just create a new API key and you can use that to start querying. Every SQL query can be an endpoint. Um, we also allow you to uh, manage queries through the API. So you have CRUD operations to create, read, update, or delete archive, uh, private, unprivate, or even refresh a materialized view through the API. For the most part, you should be using the execution and results uh, APIs here. You can either run the new execution and then pull the results kind of on command. If you're doing like parameterized queries, that's useful. Uh, or for the most part, you probably just want to use get latest query result. Um, for managing complexity, we do have both a Python SDK as well as a TypeScript or JavaScript SDK, uh, where you can just copy the snippets here to get started. You might write into some issues with query parameters. So you have the typical API query params, and then you have the parameters on the queries. Um, and when you want to pass those, you basically have to pass a key, a type, and a value. Uh, with the SDK, it's a bit simpler, where you just import the query parameter object and you specify it in the object. To learn more about the SDKs, you can either go to the Python uh, Doom client, 
where you can kind of learn more about the specific like ways of, for example, here, this is the parameter passing that I was talking about um, in Python, or you can go to the TypeScript to client. Uh, and start using this in TypeScript. Again, they to support the same set of APIs as well. So it's going to be your easiest way of developing on the Dune API. Um, and there's also some preset endpoints where we kind of create the query and schedule it for you. So if you don't want to handle executions and scheduling and all of that, you can just directly pull from our API with some of these uh, kind of predefined preset endpoints um, covering like eigenlayer, contract deployments, um, markets, Farcaster, etc. Um, the API is also a good place for you to upload data. All right, so you could upload data into Dune directly from the application if you wanted to just upload 200 megabyte CSVs. However, you can also create your own table and programmatically continue to insert data into it. Uh, from our API as well. So this does not have the 200 megabyte limit. Uh, this upload CSV does have a 200 megabyte limit where it creates a new table or overwrites a table and uploads any data to it. Um, you can also clear the data in a table or delete a table completely. Again, uh, this table namespacing follows uh, exactly the pattern of dune.teamname.dataset underscore table name. Uh, it's just it's the schema format that you'll see in Dune as well, right? And if you want to manage your uploaded content, you can go to your settings, go to data, and you'll see all of your uploads. Uh, if you're a developer building an app, you likely also want to check out our developer API where we give you all token balances as well as transactions um, real time under 200 milliseconds of delay uh, through our API. This is not connected to our SQL API. Thank you.